Dinosaur King! Rex returned with his parents after their ship was attacked, but they weren't here for long. What? The house has vanished? My mom and dad were in there! Mine too! Our parents were time-napped. We didn't know where they were or even what time period they were in, but we set out to find them. We were racing through time without a destination when this great white pterosaur appeared from out of nowhere. Follow me, and I will guide you to your destiny. Whoa, what do you guys think that thing is? I don't know, but I say we follow it. Ha! We're not following some weird-looking wacko bird! I think it's pretty. <laughs> you remember Jennifer? She was pretty, and Ed followed her right off a cliff. <laughs> well, I think we can trust her. Trust her with your fate, not mine. <laughs> her voice reminds me of the one I heard from the stones. Hey, look. <laughs> These guys think that we can trust her, too. It's like they know her. We can't control where the time machine takes us anyway, so we might as well follow her. Yeah, I totally agree. Jonathan, take us to our destiny. Right away, sir. Pterosaur's nest. About to become its dinner! The TPS says we're somewhere around the year 60 or 70 BC. And get this, it looks like we're in Italy! According to the time machine, the year is 73 BC and we have touched down near ancient Rome. Well, that's sort of the same. No, it's not! That TPS no. contraption's no better than a Ouija board! Well, modern Rome is part of Italy, you know. Ha! <laughs> Are you sure you didn't get that thing from a gumball machine? I guess that's to be expected since it was made by a couple of losers uh, like the ancients. You be quiet! The ancients created this time machine. What have you done that's as good? What? Uh, well, there's lots of things, but I don't like to brag. In fact, I'm famous for not bragging. You're bragging now. Ha! Well, you know, true greatness is hard to hide sometimes. Uh, uh, what is it, Rex? It looks like we found our parents. For real? They're nearby, and they're in this time period. You're sure? Yeah. That must mean that the flying pterosaur guided us here so that we could rescue them. Oh, right. So where exactly does it say they're located? Uh, I can't get a clear reading. Why not? It seems that there's some sort of barrier around them. A barrier? You can't believe that hunk of junk! Jonathan, fire up the engines immediately! Take us back to the time of the dinosaurs! How can you even suggest that? Our parents were time-napped, and we don't know who did it! We have to find them! That's right! And besides, Dr. Z, this ship doesn't belong to you! Listen, if I hadn't fixed it, you'd still be parked outside the place where Shrimpo's house used to be! Fixed it? Huh! <laughs> it's more like you and the Alpha Gang messed it up! So now we're racing uncontrollably back and forth through time and all over the world! You're just a bad scientist, that's all! <laughs> that's ridiculous! Tell them what a great scientist I am! Uh, the thing is, Dr. Z, we don't really have control of the ship. Which seems to be kind of dangerous. Yes, and scary, too. You're all a bunch of traitors! The 
there you are. Helga, please help me. Those traitors Ursula, Ed, and Xander have taken sides against me. You're just tired. It is past your nap time. Nap time? You're being cranky. Now go to your room, put your head on your pillow, and go beddy bye. Huh? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> that goes for you, too. Huh? I, I can't, can't believe, believe we, we have, have to nap. nap. What do you guys say we get going and find our parents? All right! Shall I transport you three to the surface? Yes, and be sure to keep the Alpha Gang here. Yes, sir, I'll do that. Ancient Rome, here we come! That's weird. I didn't think it would be just a forest. Well, we're supposed to be near Rome, so there's probably a road somewhere. Yeah, but where? Maybe we should start looking around. <laughs> uh, hey, wait! <sighs> jump! Come back here! Jump! Stop! Oh, I guess you were thirsty and wanted to get some water. Max? That girl, she looks like she's hurt. Whoa! <laughs> Stop, Chomp. Uh, miss, are you all right? Are you with the army? Uh, no, we're, um, well, uh, we're some travelers passing through. <laughs> oh. What happened? Did you hit your head? Uh, yes, but at least I escaped the monster. What kind of monster was it? It was round and flying through the sky. Ugh. I sure hope it's not hiding somewhere in the forest. I wonder if maybe you were just having some sort of bad dream. You think? It sounds like a nightmare. Maybe. Huh? No, stop! Don't do that! I didn't mean to yell. It's just that something important's in here. Boy, you are a cutie pie. Yes, you are. That's Chomp. He's, uh, our dog. What an unusual dog. Yeah, isn't he? <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, my name is Max. Nice to meet you, Max. I'm Sophia. Hi, Sophia. I'm Rex. And this is my buddy Ace. And I'm Zoe. And her name is Paris. <laughs> State your business! I'm in the pirate business! Well, what is a pirate? Pirates go around and take things of value from others! Halt you! I forgot Earthlings like to greet by having battles! Here you go! Take that! I hope that greeting was more to your liking. He had wings and flew out of the sky. This could be an invasion of the Empire. I will marshal all our forces and you watch over the village. Yes, sir. That looks like it. Please don't harm us. We'll give you anything you want. Good. Then tell me where the girl is who lives here. Are you talking about Sophia? I am if she's the one who has the jewel. Jewel? She has the Cosmos Stone. Hush. Uh -huh. Oh. Hmm. Tell me where this girl Sophia is right now. She left here yesterday to go on a long journey. Where'd she go? <gasps> Stay here, I'll be right back. That's the invader! All together, men! Go! Attack him now! It's hard to greet so many at once. Torvasaurus, say hello for me. Dress differently and talk differently. Where are you from? We're from somewhere far away. Yes, we came here to try to find our parents. Your parents? 
Did the Roman army take your family away as well? Huh? huh? The Roman army? Uh, no way. Uh, yes way, Max. And it's nearby. What's nearby? What are those things? It's nothing to worry about. It's just a lizard, man. Go get it! <sighs> ah, time for the magma blaster! <laughs> Bye-bye. Now, where did Sophia go on a journey? A dinosaur? Yes, it's a type of ancient creature. It's gone. What do you think happened to it? Hey, maybe Jonathan can help us. Jonathan, come in. My instruments say the same thing. According to our sensors, the dinosaur appeared briefly and now is gone. Can you locate where it was? I'm zeroing in on it right now. It's in a little village called Trichia. Trichia? What's the matter? Trichia is the town where I come from. Is there some sort of danger from these ancient creatures? Don't worry, the dinosaur's gone now. That's good because the people of my town have already suffered way too much. What happened there? Oh, Max, what took place in Trichia was the most awful thing that I have ever seen in my entire life. The Roman army invaded our village. They burned the homes of anyone who resisted. Then they rounded up half the people in the village and took them away. Oh, no. My brother was made a slave. And then he was taken to Rome to be trained as a gladiator. You mean trained to fight? Gladiators are put in an arena and forced to battle for their lives, all to entertain a crowd. Do you think the Roman army is planning to force people to fight against this dinosaur creature? No, I don't think they'd be able to do that. <laughs> Stop it, Chomp. Let go of her back. No, don't touch that. Huh? This is what I'm taking to my brother. No one else can touch it with their bare hands. What kind of jewel is it? It is a yellow cosmos stone, and it can grant amazing strength and power to the one who holds it. It has been in my family a long time. It looks powerful. My brother didn't have it with him when the Roman army invaded our village. If he had, he might have been able to stop them. And now, as a gladiator, I'm afraid that this jewel is his only chance of survival. Don't worry, Sophia. You will be able to make it to Rome, and you will get that jewel to your brother. It's a very long journey, and there are many dangers along the way. Jonathan, what's happening? An unidentified ship is approaching at supersonic speed. <laughs> there it is! A ship like that in ancient Rome? Maybe they're the ones who took our parents. They might be. Are they the Roman army? Far from it. Whatever you do, stay close to us. That's right. We'll protect you, Sophia. <laughs> Wait! Hey, come back! Earth greetings are so tiring. Just tell us, do you know where our parents are? Yeah, are you the one who took them? Took them where? Don't you play dumb. Oh, I'm not playing anything. We have the ancients and some of their associates. Well, those are our parents. And you better tell us where they are. Why are we even talking about this when I have an important assignment? Come on, quit stalling. Are they on your ship? <sighs> Hey, stop! Hello to you, too! Ah! Oh, Max! Huh? <sighs> All right, you want to mess with Chomp? Go right ahead! Dino! Flash! Go, Triceratops! All right, 
Let's see how you like this! Whoa, a Torvosaurus! He has dinosaurs? Take a look at its forehead! There's some kind of mark there! You can do it, Chomp! Let's add in a little spectral arm! And to heat things up, a little magma blaster! Oh yeah? Thunder Bazooka! Uh, okay, Ace, go help Chomp! Like a good nap to make one ready for time travel. Mm. Whoa, check out the Torvosaurus. It's got body jewelry. We should get Terry some. That might look good on him. I think it would look great, but maybe in blue. Oh, yeah, or green. We're not gonna dress up Terry like some girl at a tea party. Hey, look at that mark on its head. Well, what do you think it means, Dr. Z? Why would you ask me that? Jonathan, get Terry and the four of us down to the surface right away! I cannot do that, Doctor. Why not? Because Master Rex gave me a direct order stating that none of you are to leave the ship. Well, when that Torvosaurus finishes him off, I'm sure he'll thank you for keeping us here! He will be fine, huh? <laughs> oh. Hey, Chomp! Oh, are you guys okay? Hey, big guy with the wings! You leave Sophia alone, do you hear me? Of course I can hear you, you're screaming loudly! Then listen, because I have five words for you! <laughs> Dino Slash! Wake up, cars are all this! <laughs> are in trouble. Let's try to use a fusion move. You got it. Thunderstorm Bazooka! By a bunch of kids. This isn't going to go over well. Hey, you come back here! He's already gotten away. Get him, Terry! They're gone? Oh. What's this? A piece of that dinosaur's armor. Can I have it? It's not jewelry, it's for important research! He called that stuff spectral armor. The Torvosaurus turned into a card. It would make a really nice ring. Yeah, or a keychain for me. It's so strange that that guy had a dinosaur card. Very. Huh, it's the old lady! Hey, don't call me an old lady! <gasps> not one of you made your bed or straightened up after your naps! Get back there and do it now! Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Whoa, who are those people? Dr. Z, Ed, Xander, and the old lady. I am not an old lady! <laughs> Take care of yourself now. Thank you, and good luck to you. I hope you find your parents very soon. Good luck to you too, Sophia. And we hope that you find your brother. Watching you tame dinosaurs 
It made me believe that I can save my brother Spartacus. <sighs> Bye, guys. Or as they say in Rome, buona fortuna. Goodbye. Goodbye. Did she say that her brother's name is Spartacus? Hey, there was someone famous with that name. That's great. But right now, I'm a little more worried about that flying time traveler guy. How are we ever going to find him and find our parents? You're, You're right. right. Oh, wait, where's Chomp? Paris, Ace, do you guys have any idea where Chomp went? <laughs> uh, did Chomp fall? Chomp! Chomp!